A very typical plot is um, the category plot. In this case, we have on the x-axis categories, something like, for example, um, calcium, aluminum, magnesium, silicon, sodium, rubidium, and so forth. So in this direction, this would be decreasing volatility in this case. So if we have on the y-axis, maybe CI normalized um, abundances, then calcium, aluminum plot up here, then there might be magnesium, silicon, sodium, and rubidium. And often these dots are then connected, and this is then what we call a line plot. So line plot really is a subclass of a category plot. And of course I can um, put on some, some different elements, for example, maybe um, rare earth elements, lanthanum, cerium, Prasidium, neodym, samarium, and so on here. And the result will be more or less the same. So what is really typical for a category plot is if you make this a data table. So then here are the categories, and down here are the data. So maybe lanthanum is 200 ppm, cerium is 190 ppm, prasidium 180 and so on. So this is what characterizes a category plot that has one set of data row. Of course, if there would be a second data row, then there would also be a second line. So it's possible to put in another line, but for one single plot, so for one line, there's only one data row. This is what is characteristic for the category plot. Then it is certainly not only possible to put in um, elements as categories, but anything else. So let's put in, for example, um, the type of chondrule, like PO chondrule, POP chondrule, BO chondrule, RP chondrule, and so on. And on the y-axis, there's the frequency. And then the number of PO chondrules is something like this, PO chondrules is this, BO like this, and RP a little less. And in this case, because there's a frequency on the y-axis, we call it a histogram. So also a histogram is a subtype of a category plot. And um, especially in cosmochemistry, there's one more type of plot, or I mean, there are many types, but very often used. And this is that on the x-axis, there's, for example, delta 56 iron, so some isotope. And then on the y-axis, there are just the data points. But each data point has a um, sample name, which is maybe a landed, and there might be a chondrule, and there might be a CAI, a matrix, and maybe also Murchison, and so on. And this is then often called a Caltech plot, because if there's nothing on the y-axis, we call it a Caltech plot. But in fact, this is nothing else than, again, a category plot, because these are all the categories. In this case, um, these are the sample names. So again, if there were a table, then the categories were the, the, the sample names. So this all here. And in the data row, there would be all this data here. So this also is a category plot. And histograms, line plots are subtypes. And I would again like to make a few examples here. Um, so this is MacBase. And um, just a sec, let's, for example, choose the CV CK um, clan. And I click on category here. And then I get um, the plot for the highly citrified elements. So these are the categories, the highly citrified elements. And the normalized, for example, to maybe you see icon rights. Looks more sensible. And it would look like this. So you can choose something different, maybe the rare earth elements and then these are the rare earth elements. Well, I could also then choose a histogram and look at the histogram and choose here, for example, say silicon. Um, it's been here already. And plot this, and then we get a silicon histogram of the CKCV clan. I can um, click on the group name, so then it would be separate by CK and CV. So then there are basically do two data lines. This is why then there are two bars as well. So these are sometimes also called bar charts. Um, I can also make ratios here. 
but the ratio is also just one line, looks like this. So this would be examples of, of, of category plots. And the number more examples is that, of course, the cosmic chemical abundances of the elements um, is also a category plot. Or in this case here, there are the, the chondrites on the x-axis, which are also categories, and then the, the various bulk chondrite compositions normalized to CI. Or something like this is also a bar chart. Now here is the distance from the sun of the asteroids and the abundance of the different types of asteroids. So here are the different types of asteroids. So this will also be a histogram in this case, but also a category plot. And so these are all different various types of category plots.